The next heat is already making their way to the box. Six swimmers in the second heat. Can anyone challenge the time in the first heat? Set by Summer Mortimer. So we have statement. If your swimmers set themselves at a personal best, a bit like James Stully did, then uh, your team to tweet that in. Paolo Vitale said uh, another key beat from James Stully. Thanks to them. Although, we'll have Nando Santos from Spain in lane number two. Another Dutch swimmer here, the third Dutch swimmer, Marge Osteros. Coming up now, heat number two. Lane three, Nodi Can she rise to the challenge set in that previous heat by Summer Mortimer? Nina Ryabova, the tall Russian. In lane five, Alice Tai making her international debut for Great Britain. At a major championships in lane six. And Annalie Rouley from France, the final swimmer in lane number seven. Take your mark. This is the S10 class. Swimmers with a minimal impairment. And can anyone challenge that European record just set by Summer Mortimer, 28.30. Very close in the centre lanes there. Ria Bova has got away well in lane five. Aludi Lorandi going well in lane number four. Looks like it's going to be the Russian though. Rio Bova, although Lorandi just kicking again in the final stages, and it is, Lorandi was going to take this one, 28.87. Well, it's not a bad time at all for Lorandi, but it is half a second slower than the previous heat by Summer Mortimer, but that will be good enough to progress to the final. Has she got anything more to give in the final this evening? We will find out later. Nina Riabova swam well, 29.07. Well, the Russian swimmer, just at this point, the Lorandi started to get away from the Russian. Well, Riabova had it with about 10 meters to go, but Lorandi finished strongly. Respect that with 400 meters champion, Lorandi. He's making a way out of the, the water now at the end of that heat. There is the result of heat number two, Lorandi, 28.87, ahead of Ria Bova, 29.07. A good swim from young Alice Ty, 29.65, ahead of Osterhus. 